I am Ram Krishnan. Let us now discuss normal distribution plot with three sigma limits. I will go to a blank sheet now. There is an input. I will give the uh, input mean value, standard deviation value. These are the values. I will just give it. So, I have already given this uh, mean as 60, standard deviation 2 and these things will be calculated automatically. So, I will just put it as uh, oh. So let me not, uh, we are not supposed to do this. So this is calculated, 60 minus 3 times 2, that is 60 minus 6, 60 plus 3 times 2, 60, 66. And the difference is, the difference between these two divided by 100, that is a thing. Now what we will have to do is, I have made this data, see I will just show you control shift down and uh, make it as uh, block. So the frequency is uh, drawn here, from this to this for all the values from 54 to 66, this is calculated from the normal distribution uh, value formula. Normal distribution formula is normal distribution, mean, standard deviation and the x value, it will automatically give you. Now, similarly, I will give uh, the UCL and LCL. Now what we need to do is, we will have to draw, we will see how to draw, I will take a recommended, I will take this chart, so I will take this chart. And what I should do is, I will have to go there and chart design or I will right click and then chart design, either way you can do it. Say so select data you can put directly because chart is already selected or you will go to chart design and then select data. Then you will have this uh, thing. Right. So first of all we will have to edit this. So edit, the bar I will edit. Right. So I will give you a name for this bar, I will put it as uh, LCL. I will put the LCL is the name of this and then this one is uh, E is the data, so E92, E109 and then this is F109, I will say ok and then I will add this also, edit, so I will get as UCL and then uh, what is G is the thing, so G is this uh, thing, so I will just copy. Control C, I will put as Control V, right, equal to G9 and then this is F, F is the data, right, I will put it as F and I am going to put this as F, right, okay. Now I will add one more uh, this thing, see the two lines have come, now I am going to put this, this is the normal distribution, ND I will put normal distribution, X values is uh, this value. So control shift down, okay, and then this one is. Uh, I'll put. Uh, I'll just copy this. Control C. Control V, and I know this is going to be in C data. C. So instead of B, I'll make it as C. Make it as C. I'll make this as C. So that completes all the tables. I'll now. I'll say okay. You got it, everything, see here. Now if you want to have this uh, data, this, you can make all the corrections like uh, the, uh, the x values should be from where value, see here, major bit lines and all these things, right. So if you want to here, I will just select this, access data, all this, see here, access data is there here, major access, minimum I will make it as. Uh, now oh, uh, 40, 40 and then maximum is 70, okay and then uh, maximum is okay. See here from 42 and then you can also mark this, uh, this, this can be marker options. Now I will not put marker options, I will put, I will put uh, no. Okay, this is it. So this completes uh, the, uh, now I can change these values, I will put the uh, mean, I will make it as 80, you can see here, see here it is so close, it is array, right. So I can also make the changes, the uh, axis also if you want, I can make it as 72 also, right. So axis option, scale, you can see here axis options. 
So minimum is uh, I will make it as uh, say 70, right? And then it will be bigger one. So you can play with uh, the chart. All you need to do is fill up the mean standard deviation. Nothing else you need to do on the normal chart with the things will be made. This Excel sheet I will be uh, attaching along with the description. You can download it and play with this and learn. Hope you like this video and if you like it, please share with your friends and subscribe for this channel. Thank you.